Uh, here we are, uh, David Winter and Ralph Baer. Uh, we're looking at the uh, an Odyssey 1TL200, original Odyssey with a cover removed. Uh, and at the moment, uh, nothing has been changed to the Odyssey. And you see a ball in a ping pong game going back and forth between two paddles. And just to show you that uh, uh, we're not faking, uh, David, why don't you move one of the controls so you can see it's, it's alive. There you go. All right, now I'll let David talk for himself. All right. Hi there. Um, well, I thought I could show you something really neat, uh, which never made it uh, into production uh, uh, of Odyssey, and uh, which I never saw on uh, any Pong game. And uh, back in uh, early 1973, uh, at Magnavox, there was a project for a four-player Odyssey game, which also featured a round ball, which was well, maybe uh, the hardest thing to do because you had to deal with uh, special electric com components and uh, well, be very uh, ingenious in the design because this was uh, extremely hard to uh, to design. A round ball uh, can be easily uh, done with a software program or a digital uh, circuit, but uh, using old transistors and diodes and resistors, it was another thing. So sometime, sometime in 1973 there were two prototypes built but they never survived. Only some documentation about it and fortunately I found that documentation in some old archives. So I rebuilt uh, the round ball generator and uh, that was uh, at the same time quite a challenge and also I did it quite quickly because Magnavox was smart enough to uh, use the same pinout of uh, the old uh, ball generator so basically what I had to do is build the new one and put it in the place of the other one and uh, sure enough I sent the schematic to Ralph Baer who told me it would never work and well I continued, I went ahead and uh, because I was quite sure that there would be a really intelligent trick in the, the design of uh, that round ball generator so I went ahead, I built it within a four, uh, four hours or so plugged it in my one of my uh, Odyssey units and sure enough it worked so let me show you how this works. Here we have an Odyssey game and I can remove uh, the ball generator so basically we just have the two pedals and uh, the central line. So here's uh, the, the original uh, square ball generator and here is uh, the uh, updated one which is larger because it uses more components. So if I plug the new one in the, into the Odyssey well maybe you, you will we'll be lucky enough and see a nice round ball appear on the screen. Well, here we are uh, playing uh, Original Odyssey with round ball generator. David and I will demonstrate our fantastic ability to volley a ball back and forth at a speed that is roughly equivalent to a turtle walking across a road. Oops, I missed it. There we go. Now we're playing. All right. Oh, you got me. Got you. Got me. Uh, easy. Let's not overdo it. That's on my side, so let me allow me to. You got me. Once more. Okay, so let's have a look at the ball right now, which is yeah, right there. Yeah, that's a ball in a stationary position. Why don't you adjust the ball a bit uh, just to demonstrate how many shapes you can get out of it, David? Oh, yeah. well, of course, so <coughs> you can change uh, the general size of the ball, which can go from extremely small uh, like that. It would be really nice to play micro pong, right? Micro tennis. Mm. A very small ball like that, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but of course you can set it to a huge size and adjust, uh, and adjust well, uh, the height. Well that's called balloon ping pong. Balloon ping pong. Oh, Here yes. you go with balloon ping pong. And uh, now another feature, if you, if you put a, a round ball generator instead of a paddle you could get some uh, 
ovoid, uh, ovoid paddles. So you know, let's oblong paddles make them look like uh, they're show hockey it. sticks. Let me put uh, the number uh, ball generator in place and we adjust, we adjust uh, the size of uh, the ball. Um, I have to make it stationary. That should be okay. Oh no, I, sh I, I shouldn't have moved. Okay, so here we go. We have some time to adjust this guy. That will be fine. So let's use a, a paddle generator. Let's take it off. Okay, so that's that was my paddle. Let's put the round ball generator on. Where am I? Okay, so here we are. We've got a small paddle which uh, looks ovoid, uh, uh, oval or ovoid. I don't know how to say that in English. And sure yeah, enough, oval. Can, uh, sure, sure, sure enough, you can adjust the size of this one. Yeah. Make it round if you like. Or make it really small. Yeah, move it up and down, David. Okay. With so your hand control. There you go. So here's my Here. paddle. Here's your oval paddle. Well, I think that's enough of that. Thanks.